After launching Visual Studio 2008, it's pretty simple to create a standalone website that will run locally on your computer. Simply select File, then choose New Website, then choose ASP.NET Website with a location set to File System. That's really key. File System is what enables your site to run on your computer instead of requiring installation on a separate web server such as Internet Information Services. And then in this location to the right, you can enter the path for your website. For the sake of time, I'm going to just choose the default location. When I click OK, Visual Studio goes through a few steps and cooks up a website. And at the bottom it says, Creating Project Website 3D, Project Creation Successful. We now have our site. So as you see, it created a basic ASPX file. You can also right-click the project and choose add new item and from there you can enter an HTML file which you could use for examples or homework in the class which are based on HTML pages. I'm going to change the name from HTML page.htm to default.htm and choose add and as you can see it made a basic HTML document. I'll now click in the body area and type this is my web page. From this point I'm going to save the file and then I can right click that file and choose view and browser. When I do this it's going to launch the standalone Cassini web server which will run in the tray on your computer. So I'm going to choose view and browser and the development server just started and the page just opened. And it's going to be probably off your screen but there you can see that you now have a running page. So now what I'm going to do is just close that page and from this point forward when you're working in this site you can just choose view and browser on a page and you can work with it. We'll be using this capability more and more in the course especially as we work with server-side development with ASP.NET. Thanks and let me know if you have any questions.